Stokey Notation System, an overview. Introduction. In the United States, William C. Stokey, Jr. analyzed the gestures of the deaf population based on linguistic principles of spoken languages. He published his findings in 1960. This work was accomplished with the assistance of Carl Gustav Kronberg and Dorothy Chioko Suyoka. Stokey and Dorothy C. Casterline and Carl G. Kronberg later published a dictionary of what had become known as American Sign Language. This was first published in 1965, with a revised version published in 1976. This publication was titled, A Dictionary of American Sign Language on Linguistic Principles. This became known as the DASL, based on an acronym of the first four main words of the title, D from Dictionary, A from American, S from Sign, L from Language. DASL Dictionary System this dictionary is organized in a manner similar to the alphabetic manner of dictionaries of spoken languages, although it contains many non-alphabetic symbols. The organization of the words follows a notation system that Stokey devised. This notation system captures three aspects of a sign. One, the place where a sign is made. Two, the hand configuration. And three, the action of the hand or hands. The dictionary is organized according to these three aspects. Place, hand configuration, action of hand or hands. For the place where a sign is made, Stokey called this the tabula, shortened to tab. For the configuration of the hand, he termed this the designator, or des. The action of the hand or both hands was called the signation, or sig. Tabula, designator, signation, tab, des, sig, place, configuration, action, or tabula, tab, place, designator, des, configuration, signation, sig, action. Notating the three aspects. This tab, des, sig trio was put into a notation form whereby tab was notated with a capital T, des was notated with a capital D, SIG was notated with a superscript lowercase s. These were positioned in the following manner, as shown. This is the basic formula for notating the tab, des, and SIG symbols for the words of American Sign Language in this system. Examples of the notation system. A simple example. To show how this notation works, the sign male cousin is used. This sign is made at the forehead with the C hand configuration with a wrist twisting action. A sign made at the forehead has this symbol for the tab notation, as shown. For the C hand configuration, the DES notation is this, a capital letter C. For the wrist twisting action, the SIG has this symbol, as shown. These combine to form the notation for the sign male cousin in ASL, as shown. Modifications of the tab, des, and sig symbols. For many signs, one or more of the tab, des, and sig symbols are modified. A sign could have modifications for just the tab, just the des, or just the sig. A sign could have modifications for tab and des, tab and sig, or des and sig. A sign could have modifications for all three aspects, tab, des, and sig. Modified place tab, symbol. Tab, place, notations are modified for some signs, often when the place is at the hand. This modification symbol occurs after, above, or below the tab symbol, as shown here using an X for the modification symbol. For example, the sign bottle is made on the C hand as its place, the capital letter C. The tab is positioned below the DES, indicated by a horizontal line above the tab, as shown. The DES is a C hand configuration, capital letter C. The hand action is a movement upward for the SIG, as shown here. These symbols combine to form the notation for bottle, shown here. Modified DES hand configuration symbol. The hand configuration, or DES, 
is often modified by the orientation of the palm. At times, it may also include the attitude, posture, of the forearm. Palm modification symbols indicate that the palm is oriented upward, forward, to one side, and so forth. This symbol is placed directly after the DES symbol, indicated by X here. As an example, the sign grease is made at the nose, its tab, shown here. The letter G is used for the hand configuration, the DES, capital letter G. The palm is facing upward, its DES modification, shown here. The hand moves downward for its SIG action, as shown here. These symbols combine to form this notation for the word grease. Two SIG hand action symbols. Concerning hand action, some signs have more than one component for its hand action, SIG. Such SIG information is notated with two SIG symbols, one above the other, shown here. For example, the sign PIN is made at the torso, the tab, as shown here. Its hand configuration, DES, is an F hand shape, a capital letter F. The action of the hand is an up and down movement, shown here. The hand maintains contact with the body during the action. So the SIG has a contact symbol, shown here. These symbols combine to form the notation for PIN, as shown here. Multiple modifications in a single sign, TAB and DES. The sign DIRTY has both a modified TAB and a modified DES. The TAB is the chin, shown here. The TAB is modified to show a location under the chin, as shown here. The DES is a five-hand configuration modified to show that the arm is pronate, horizontal with the palm facing downward, shown here. The SIG involves the wiggling action of the fingers, as shown. Dirty is notated as follows. Multiple modifications in a single sign, TAB and SIG. The sign of void has both a modified TAB and a modified SIG. The tab is the A hand configuration, capital letter A. This is modified to show that the two hands are side by side, as shown. The DES is also an A hand configuration, capital letter A. The SIG involves two actions, the hand twisting, as shown, the hand moving back toward the body, as shown. The sign of void is notated as follows. Multiple modifications in a single sign, DES and SIG. The sign PERSPIRE has both a modified DES and a modified SIG. The tab is at the forehead, as shown. The DES is the B hand configuration with the arm pronate, horizontal, palm down, as shown. The SIG has two actions. The fingers show wiggling action, as shown. The hand moves to the left, as shown. Perspire is notated in the following manner. Multiple modifications in a single sign, tab, des, and sig. A sign can be modified for each of its three aspects, as with the sign restless. The tab is the H hand configuration, capital letter H. This is modified to show that the arm is pronate, horizontal palm down, as shown. The DES is a V configuration with the fingers curved, as shown here. The SIG involves wrist twisting, shown here. The hand action maintains contact with the TAB, shown here. Restless is notated as follows. Sequential information indicated in SIG hand action notations. Some signs have two SIG actions occurring at the same time. Other signs have one SIG action occurring first and a second SIG action following the first one. When the hand actions occur simultaneously, the SIG symbols are shown on top of each other, such as twisting movement while maintaining contact. When the hand actions occur sequentially, one SIG symbol occurs after the other, as seen here. The X means the motion to make contact, the dot means to repeat the action. 
When two sigs occur sequentially, the leftmost one occurs first. Multiple information indicated in sig hand action notations. In the case where sig symbols are laid out one after the other, they indicate a sequence, with the actions following in order of the symbols, left to right. It is also possible for a sign to have both simultaneous and sequential sig symbols, as shown. An example is sewing machine, which has a forward action while maintaining contact with the tab, and then the action is repeated. Sewing machine is notated as follows. Other multiple SIG combinations are also possible. These include sequential simultaneous actions, shown here, and three sequential actions, as shown here. Another modification of the SIG notation. One more modification of the SIG notation occurs in the DASL. This involves the modification of the closing or opening action of the fingers. The modification is shown in square brackets after the finger action symbol, as shown. For the sign PEACH, the fingers close to an O hand configuration, as shown. In the sign UNDERSTAND, the fingers open to a G hand configuration, as shown. Double DES signs. Some signs involve both hands for the DES hand configuration. These signs are notated with two DES symbols showing that both hands are involved, as shown. An example is AWFUL, made with both hands at the forehead, as shown. Signs made in the signing space. Some signs are made in the signing space in front of the body. These signs have a zero symbol for the tab place, as shown. The zero symbol may be omitted from the notation, as shown. An example is the sign tall. The B does, pronate, hand moves upward, as shown. Two hands may be used in a sign made in the signing space, as shown. The zero symbol may be omitted, as shown. An example of this is judge. Two hands alternate, moving up and down. Summary. The Stokey notation system captures three aspects of a sign. The place where the sign is made, called the tabula and known as tab. The hand configuration, called the designator or des. And the action of the hand or hands, called the signation, known as sig. The notation system shows the tab first, followed by the des, and ending with a sig. Each of these symbols may be modified for the sign's articulation. Conclusion This has been an overview of the Stokey Notation System. Stokey Notation was the first system for writing American Sign Language words on paper. This system was first published in 1960, with a dictionary known as the DASL published in 1965 and revised in 1976 with co-authors Casterline and Kronberg. A complete list of the symbols used may be found in these publications. Bibliography Stokey, William C. Jr., 1960, Sign Language Structure, An Outline of the Visual Communication Systems of the American Deaf, Studies in Linguistics, Occasional Papers 8, Buffalo, New York, University of Buffalo, Department of Anthropology and Linguistics. Stokey, William C., Dorothy C. Casterline and Carl G. Kronberg, 1965, A Dictionary of American Sign Language on Linguistic Principles, Washington, D.C., Gallaudet College Press. Stokey, William C., Dorothy C. Casterline and Carl G. Kronberg, 1976, A Dictionary of American Sign Language on Linguistic Principles, Silver Spring, Maryland, Linstock Press.